Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today I'm reviewing MS Medea which is a Nile cruise in Egypt and I've just stayed here for the four nights trip plan. Um, yeah, overall as a summary for you guys that don't want to watch the whole video, I'd say it's worth it and you should definitely stay here if you come to Egypt. And you get to see a lot of Egypt as you go down the river, you get to go on tours. Um, you get good food, you get really bad Wi-Fi, what else, yeah, everything's pretty good. But I'm discussing it in, in seven points for this video, which is going to be location, staff, entertainment, food, rooms, overall, and Wi-Fi. So I'm going to rank each category and tell you guys why. So firstly, location, I'd have to give that a 10 because you, you stop every day. There's Abu Simbel, which is a really popular temple nearby. There's other, many other temples also like Edfu and lots of good photo opportunities. You can explore the cities and see all these Egyptians live. Um, and yeah, really good for photography also. <coughs> so location's good and you're moving along so that gives you so many locations to explore. Secondly, staff. Their staff are very kind and mean very well, but they don't understand English that well. Um, and they're also quite annoying when you're eating, like they'll wait by your table and almost make you feel rushed while you're eating and ask if you finish when your cutlery is together to show you're done, or when you still have half a plate of food left, they'll ask if you're done. Or when you're serving up, they'll try help you to serve up, or like block the way, and yeah, like yesterday I was trying to serve up pudding, but they have such a variety of food and pudding that I was trying to decide which one to get. And then there's like rushing me saying which one, which one, and kind of blocking the way, which is quite annoying, but they're trying to do their job as best as they can, so I'll give their staff an 8 out of 10. <coughs> Entertainment, which I'll classify as fun things to do during the day, would be I think also an 8 out of 10, because you can do lots of things. You can relax up here, which is what I did most of my time, by the pool, um, on the top deck of the cruise. There's lots of chairs, shade, and sun if you want to tan. Great views. Um, yeah, so that's the good entertainment part. There's also TV, where, where I watched the soccer final last night between... France and Argentina which was nice. We also have a TV in our rooms but in terms of your own entertainment on your phone it's not good at all because this the Wi-Fi is super super weak so yeah you can't do much on your phone. Then the food <coughs> I think nine and a half out of ten like this they have really nice food all the food tastes amazing it's there's many options depending on what you want to eat or what you like. Lunch is very good, dinner is very good. Breakfasts are pretty good. That's the only part that I wouldn't give a 10 out of 10. But all really good overall for the food. Tastes good. If you want to eat lots you can because it's a buffet at almost every meal time. There's tea time at 4. Um, and yeah, now the room section, uh, probably like, like five, because the rooms are quite bad, but they are also quite small because they need to be on a boat. But the reason I don't like the rooms is because the doors are always like closing by themselves and it's just small and compact and you have to hold the door back the whole time if you're in the bathroom or close it and everything like that. The shower in the bathroom has a bath at the bottom for people who might feel like bathing while they're here. But I don't know who would want to bath in a boat. Like I don't know why you just don't shower. So because I'm yeah, because I'm tall I guess. My, I have to like shower bending down so my head doesn't touch the roof the whole time. 
well, it's quite annoying. And no, no one that I know in my family or my cousin can use the bark. I don't think anyone uses the bark in places like this. Um, yeah, so the bathroom's very small, compact if you're above six foot. Uh, now the rooms, they were pretty... I, I don't know if I actually changed the bedding because when I opened my bed, you could feel the material was really cheap, especially for a five-star hotel. So I didn't feel high-quality material and bedding. It wasn't good linen, it felt a bit scra scratchy if that makes sense. And the sheets weren't clean, so I didn't know what to think about it. I was asked them to change my bed the next day because I found another person's long black hair, which isn't mine because I don't have long hair. There was a woman's hair and my mom didn't have black hair, so I don't know if it's hair could be. So the rooms, yeah, I mean, the size is okay since you're on a boat. You won't be spending the days in your room anyways. You'll be touring Egypt and relaxing up here by the pool. But the bed's quite dirty. The pillows aren't nice. Um, yeah, the room's 5 out of 10. And then the Wi-Fi, by far the worst out of all the categories. I'll give it like 2 out of 10. Well, the reason I'm rating Wi-Fi, some of you might be saying, why are you saying Wi-Fi when you're on holiday, you're meant to be exploring and stuff like that, because the reason I'm rating it is because people like me want to take lots of videos, upload it on their social media for their photography accounts like TikTok or YouTube and Instagram, and you can't even use Instagram, it, it'll load messages and DMs, it won't load any media. That's the same with YouTube, um, WhatsApp, it won't load media, it'll load your messages, so you can check your messages on WhatsApp, which is decent, I guess, but not that good for content creators, um, what else can I say about the Wi-Fi? Oh, it constantly disconnects you, like every time you get back in the boat, you have to log in with a different name and password, um, which is really annoying and sometimes the Wi-Fi just doesn't work. There's Wi-Fi on a boat after all, so what did you expect? But still, like they could have just had no Wi-Fi and I think it might have been similar if you can just check your WhatsApps and maybe emails, nothing else really. So, yeah, Wi-Fi is very weak, you can hardly load anything. You can't stay up to date with what your friends are doing on Instagram or anything like that. You can just send messages and check your emails. I guess that's the most important thing to do anyways, and you're meant to be exploring, not being on your phone the whole time. You can't play games for those of you who play Clash of Clans, I'm guessing that would be you. Um, and last category overall, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Because, um, yeah, everything's very good, and the, yeah, I think just 8 out of 10, it's only the Wi-Fi that's bad, and kind of the room service, but the staff are very friendly, mean very well, the touring and the views you'll get to see, and the photographs you take, and memories you'll make, all very good, and, yeah, I'll be loading up more reviews soon on other hotels and, and vlogs, everything like that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Please comment down below what videos you want to see. Um, like the video and subscribe. I feel like a like a tall build YouTuber told people to subscribe. Anyways. Um, yeah, and go follow me on Instagram because I post much more there. I post short videos and on TikTok at Austin Macintosh underscore SA. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.